Rescuing the Arctic According to computer models of the global climate, an unchecked doubling of carbon dioxide levels from their levels in pre-industrial times will cause the Arctic sea ice to melt more each summer and to retreat farther to the north. Sea ice in the Arctic Ocean at the end of September. The pink area shows the Arctic ice at pre-industrial levels. The blue area shows reduced ice cap due to a doubling of carbon dioxide. This computer model shows the difference in ice cap projected over the next 70 years. Arctic ice is dramatically reduced with many harmful effects to our environment. We may need options to buy time to complete our move to a more sustainable energy system. The Stratoshield, an intellectual ventures invention. Atomizers deliver a fine mist of aerosolized sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere. Positioned on a very long hose supported by large aerodynamic helium balloons, this hose to the sky could reach altitudes 18 miles high. Particles released here would fall back to Earth over a course of a year or more. While they remain in the atmosphere, they act as a shield reflecting a tiny bit of sunlight before it gets a chance to warm the Earth. This is the edge of space, three times as high as commercial airplanes fly. The Strata Shields hose need not be much bigger than an ordinary garden hose, but must be constructed to withstand high pressure from the pumps and be kept light as possible. Balloons are placed at intervals along the hose to distribute the load. A Strata Shield could be deployed for as little as tens of millions of dollars, a tiny fraction of other systems. A single hose could pump 100,000 metric tons per year of liquid sulfur dioxide up into the stratosphere. A single deployment operated year-round could be enough to save the Arctic from runaway warming. Warming caused by carbon dioxide doubling compared to stratus shield reductions. Temperature decrease if a shield is operating at 60 degrees north latitude. These computer models show a side-by-side -side comparison of the Arctic sea levels at the end of September for each of the next 70 years. On the left, you can see dramatic reductions in the ice cap. On the right, the ice caps are restored to pre-industrial levels. This model shows the year-round comparison of Arctic sea ice levels. The pink area illustrates pre-industrial levels. With a doubling of carbon dioxide, the white and blue areas indicate projected levels with and without the stratus shield in effect. These models indicate that a 10% reduction in sunlight over latitudes north of 60 degrees would restore the Arctic ice cap to its former extent each summer. Warming of the northern hemisphere if carbon dioxide levels stabilize at twice pre-industrial levels. Greater warming is visible in the upper model. Notice the red areas are much more extensive when compared to the lower model, which illustrates a result of an active stratoshield. We don't believe that climate technologies are a substitute for reducing emissions, but we can't wait to explore such crucial and complex possibilities until we might need them. We are not advocating deployment. We are advocating further exploration. Please join us in researching these possibilities.